Hello everybody, my name is B, and it's time for me to ramble about a topic that only I care about. Before I jump into this, I don't know if my commentary will be long enough to show the full speed paint, so I'll just throw it on Patreon and subscribe star for free, so you don't have to sign up for it if you want to watch the full thing. Anyways, by the time this video comes out, this topic may already be dead, but I still really want to talk about it because this is just stupid and and I just needed to talk about it so I can just stop thinking about it. Now, let me ask you a question. What do you do when a popular YouTuber gives actual good advice? Do you A, take the advice, or B, twist their words and completely make them out to be an asshole when they are totally not being an asshole, you just want to be a victim? If you chose A, you are absolutely wrong because people took this situation and twisted it beyond oblivion that it gave me a whiplash. And it actually made me angry that I had to make an impromptu video, which is this one. Without any further ado, let's jump right into this shit show. Meet Calliope Mori, a VTuber with over 1 million subscribers who is associated with a very popular company called Hollow Live. She does your typical VTuber stuff like play video games, do Q&As, have karaoke nights, have watch parties, and she also makes her own music, which I love. This whole debacle started back in January of 2021 when someone asked if she had any advice for upcoming VTubers, and she simply said, stop tweeting and start creating. Sounds simple enough, right? Well, no, because indie VTubers took major offense to this for some reason. I'll go over what they were complaining about in a minute, I just want to tell you what Callie did next. On January 31st, she released a new song called Off With Our Heads. Aside from the fact that this song absolutely slaps, Kelly decided to expand a little bit more on the stop tweeting and start creating advice. I'll go ahead and read the lyrics myself because I'm not about to get yelled at by YouTube for copyright. I challenge you to stay committed, simply follow my leading. You want a balanced following, then start creating, stop tweeting. This ain't me hating, I'm just bored from all the talkers I'm beating, and I'm getting sick of retching endlessly from the excuses I'm reading. And this made some people in the indie VTuber community really upset. People were taking it as, she's bashing the little guys because we're not popular or working for a company. Something so simple shouldn't be made so complicated. I have never seen such point-blank advice be twisted into something that it's not. Until this one. The literal point of the song is, if you want to succeed, you have to work for it. Stop sitting on your ass and do something about it. It's the same thing as, you're not going to get hired for a job if you don't apply. This is literally the anime girl version to the Shia LaBeouf just do it meme. But no, people would rather just twist the meaning of it and make themselves out to be victims because a popular YouTuber told them to do something. Callie cares so much about the smaller VTubers, I have seen her root for them and join their streams. She wants to see everyone succeed and become something great. That's why she made this song. The harsh tone is just a little something called tough love. This song is supposed to be a motivator. And look, I'm not a VTuber, but it motivated me to work harder. The song did its job for me. I also want to talk about this specific verse in the song because it also seems to be a point of criticism. Crapped a decent crop of follows, all those asking me how. They spot the name, the fame, start shaming, raising their brows. All like, easy for you to say, little miss company hire. As if these moves did not take heartache and these tracks are not fire. As if this back did not break over and over, I near expired. As if a million skeletons hit that subscribe for satire. And though this hell is ten times hotter than the start, I ain't tired. Thank god I'm death or I'd drawn my last breath and peaced out or retired. This verse is directed towards the people who are out here saying she's only popular because she works with Hollow Live. Now, I don't doubt that Hollow Live is part of the reason where she is now, but a lot of it has to do with the fact that she worked her ass off to gain 1 million subscribers. The woman speaks English and Japanese. She makes her own music, entertains thousands of people every day with few days off, and you bet your ass she worked for it, she reaped her reward. <laughs> Get it? Reaped? Because she's a reaper? <laughs> Hollow Live didn't just give her fans out of the gate, she busted her ass for it. Hollow Live was just a bonus. She also mentions in the description of the music video that she understands that some things are out of people's control and that the moral of the song is not directed towards those people. 
It's to the people who want to do this as a job, but are constantly making excuses and avoiding everything to put in the effort. Now, I'm not sure how to end this video without repeating myself a million times, but I do feel obligated to name my patrons and some Scribestar members even though this wasn't really a planned video. Big thank you to A Blue Fairy, Busy Robot Hens, John BLZ, The Dying Psycho, Rouge Moonbat, and Stalin. My next video will be a cute podcasty video with my girlfriend, and with that I'm gonna take my leave. I'll see y'all later, bye!